Thank you. Um, you're all aware of the media release that was issued by South Australia Police today in relation to an incident in the Southern District on the 26th of October. The incident is the subject of a, police com of a complaint and therefore the Police Complaints and Discipline Act would ordinarily prohibit disclosure of publication of information in connection with it. Therefore, there are some limitations in what I can say today. However, the Commissioner of Police and I have seen footage of the incident. And we've declared the Commission's inquiry. The inquiry will be led by a senior police officer who will oversee the investigation. The Commissioner has also determined to authorise both the disclosure and the publication of some information in relation to this complaint, as it's in the public interest to do so. So for clarity, no further information in relation to this incident is to be disclosed or published pursuant to the Police Complaints and Discipline Act. So let me tell you about the incident. On Thursday the 26th of October, SAPOL attended a care facility in the Southern District to assist SA Ambulance. There was an altercation between police and a man at the facility and a taser or ECD device and OC spray was deployed. The man who was aged in his 60s was restrained by police and sustained minor injuries during the arrest. On Sunday the 5th of November, both the Office of Public Integrity and SAPOL received a complaint about the conduct of the attending police. An assessment was immediately undertaken and the body-worn video footage was reviewed from the two officers involved. There were concerns identified which has led to the determination of the Commissioner's inquiry. The two officers have been removed from operational duty whilst the matter is under investigation. I'm happy to take what questions I can. Commissioner, how, um, why did it take so long, 11 days, for the Commissioner to be aware of this incident? So my understanding is this occurred on the 26th of October and the complaint was only lodged on the 5th of November and it was assessed immediately by SAPOL and the Office of Public Integrity and an action was taken yesterday to stand the officers aside from operational duty and to commence a Commissioner's inquiry. What rank are these officers, would you say, their experience? Um, I'm not aware of their rank, I'm not aware of their years of experience. What's your oh. reaction to this incident? Um, I've not been offered a public opinion other than to say we have responded swiftly. The Commissioner's inquiry has been um, declared and we think it is in the public interest to make this known that uh, we're undertaking this investigation given the uh, nature of the allegation that's been put. Um, the age of the person and the fact that they reside in a residential facility. Can you um, give us more details about the care facility? Is it an aged care facility? Um, I understand it's a residential care facility. Um, as to any further details, I'm not aware at this stage in fine detail. And um, do you know when the inquiry will conclude? The, um, the, 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 the inquiry will take the time that it's necessary to ensure that it's conducted thoroughly. That's why we have appointed a senior police officer to lead the inquiry with the resources that that person deems are required to complete it in a thorough, professional and detailed manner. And the officers involved have been stood down from operational duties. Uh, would you say that that is because of the seriousness of the incident? I think the actions that have been taken have been proportionate to ensure that an investigation can be conducted thoroughly and that we maintain public confidence in SAPOL at the present time until we know the full extent of the investigation. Um, are you confident in the processes around surrounding taser use, given this incident, but also you know, other incidents surrounding tasers used by police? Um, we have a very rigorous training process and we have a rigorous oversight process um, in relation to use of all forms of use of force in SAPOL. I'm confident um, that in the majority of cases um, that police officers exercise those authorities appropriately and the purpose of this inquiry is to have an understanding of what occurred and transpired on this occasion without pre-empting any outcome of the inquiry. Would Just to clarify, in, in terms of the use of taser, are you allowed to use it when that person is unarmed? Is, it, is there any rules about about weapons? There's a proportional use depending on the threat. The threat can be presented in different ways. Sometimes it may be with a weapon or without a weapon, but there are circumstances that need to be taken into account as a police officer in that situation makes a risk assessment. So there are protocols around it, but in terms of being able to say things have to be this way or that way, that is very difficult to prescribe. Why was the tasering of Ronald Van not reported high up the chain? Why was it a public 
complaint that needed to be lodged. That's also subject to the Commissioner's inquiry. The person that was um, allegedly tasered by police, was he involved in an altercation before that? What were the moments leading up to it? Is, is he facing charges for anything else? This is all subject to the, uh, the Commissioner's inquiry as to the events that led up to the incident um, and it was subject to that investigation. Would you support an independent inquiry in cases like this? This matter is overseen by an independent body, the Office of Public Integrity. So um, they were made aware, they have complete oversight. Um, they, can, they can step in and give direction to the investigation if they so choose at any time. So there is very much an external oversight body involved. Without going into detail, because um, you can't, but when you watched this footage, was it fair to say that you saw it and, and were concerned, both you and the Commissioner? I think you can read from the response that there is a level of concern that justifies the Commissioner's inquiry. But I say this cautiously. There is an investigation that needs to be undertaken so that the full facts and statements and evidence can be obtained so that a full picture and um, understanding of events can then be determined. Um, are you able to go into the details of the victim's current situation? Are you recovered from those injuries? Or? Um, I don't want to discuss the personal circumstances of this person because they are personal to that person in terms of um, their health and their situation. Are you able to say if the, the taser or was discharged more than once? And this will be the subject of the inquiry. Given that there have been other reports of misconduct um, this year uh, by the media, um, do you think that this is a widespread issue that, that needs to be looked at more closely? No, I don't think it's a widespread issue. Um, we don't, as you know, generally hold commissions and inquiries every day or in response to every conduct, to conduct matter. But I can say in relation to any allegations of misconduct, they are thoroughly investigated. There is independent assessment and oversight, and um, I think by and large, um, our police officers um, conduct themselves in an exemplary manner in the community. I want to reassure the community of the high standards that we expect and that we do see on a daily basis. This seems incredibly rare from, from, I guess, the community's point of view. Do you remember the last time this sort of commission's inquiry was launched? Um, I can't uh, give the day of the last commission's inquiry, but I'm, I'm happy to provide those details out. And just to clarify, the elderly, elderly man from the facility, was he a resident or was he a worker? Um, these are factors that need to be taken into account in the investigation. I don't want to go into personal circumstances of any individual. Right. Just on a separate issue, um, there was there has been some reporting of, of a raid on a, on a home, on the wrong home, and, and then the right home. Have you got any more details about that incident? Do you know why or how police got that one wrong? Um, I was made aware of this matter recently. I have um, asked for more details in regards to that. What I can say is that um, it will be looked at thoroughly for an understanding of why that occurred. Um, uh, I mean, it's not acceptable that um, this should happen to the people involved. Um, it's deeply regrettable. We will work with them to reassure them and to, to make what amends are possible for what has occurred. But I do want to personally understand how this occurred so that um, I have an understanding of how I can avoid it in the future for other members of the public. And will police be compensated then for the damage? This will all be part of our understanding of what occurred and dealing with those people in terms of uh, what our obligations are. We don't shy away from those. Great. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.